to Dan on, on Monday, he said, you know, the offensive line was kind of like shuffling some pieces. Um, just you know, what, how have you seen guys react? And, you know, do you guys feel comfortable with a, with a grouping that you'll be putting out there on Virginia Tech? Uh, the guys have reacted the way you would want them to react, like competition-wise. Everyone's competing for a spot, and I'm comfortable with any five guys that we decide to put out there. Corey, I know you guys don't listen to the outside noise too often, which probably is a good thing. Um, but there, as you can expect, there's been some criticism of the O-line. I know some of it's not on the O-line. It can be running backs, tight ends, just miss things here and there. Um, what's sort of your take on how the offensive line is done? And do you think some criticism is fair uh, of the offensive line play to this point? Uh, of course, some criticism is fair uh, for us, uh, as, as is every position. Um, but it's, it's football. You play the next play, and ultimately... Think mistakes happen. That's what uh, that's what I was trying to get at. Mistakes happen. It's how you react to those mistakes that ultimately makes you the player you are. So we're just going to keep fighting and keep working hard. How has Jakai reacted in practice over the last two weeks? Obviously, you know, it wasn't his best game against Central Michigan. Uh, I wouldn't say it wasn't his best game. That sounds like a lot of outside noise talking, but um, Jakai Clark fought through injury, and he gave his uh, his very best out there on Saturday. So. As Danny you know, said that Central Michigan had just defensive line that you guys couldn't deal with, which sounded weird to some people because, you know, Central Michigan, it's not like, you know, you know Alabama or whatever. Um, but talk about that a little bit. I mean, were those guys, like, really super gifted, or were you guys just maybe not quite ready to be in that game, or, or what, what was that all about? Uh, I have a lot of respect for uh, Central Michigan's defensive line. They played really hard, and uh, ultimately they made more plays than we did. Dan mentioned that a couple of the sacks Zion has allowed this year have just been him kind of slow getting off the ball. Obviously, you know, freshman is I'm sure just kind of some of that growing pains, but is there anything, you know, as the center you can do, or just even as a leader of the offensive line, just kind of make sure he's kind of cleaning that part of his game up? Yeah, he's, like otherwise, he's been pretty good. Yeah, he's a true freshman, and uh, things will happen. All we could do is just keep working hard and clean up his mistakes and my mistakes and everyone's mistakes. After Central Michigan, that D-line, you know, did have some success against you guys. Is that a challenge for you guys now, going to ACC play playing the three No, we're just going to play to our standard. And we're going to play 100%. We're going to give our heart out on the field every Saturday. And we're going to do what we can. Well, there's a lot of negativity out there, obviously. What's some silver lining that you can point to that can make you say, this offensive line is going to be really good? Maybe next game, maybe in a year, but whatever it is. Like, what's that silver lining that you see with this group that other fans may not see? Our character. Uh, we won't fold on one another. Not one person will take the blame. And uh, it's a great group of guys to be around. And I, can't, I, I love being a part of this offensive line. Thank you, guys.